All right, there we go. Good evening, everybody, again. Um, my name is Rob. I'm one of the executives here at Dewpoint, uh, and we have a very exciting presentation this evening. So you might have been uh, given a hint as to what the presentation is. It's given away by the flowers and pineapples on the title slide, which we don't usually incorporate into our branding. So this evening what we're doing is we're inviting some of uh, our wealth engineers that have um, worked really hard over the last 24 months and achieved what we call rank 9. And that has um, benefited them uh, in that they've been invited, which we've just come back from, a seven-week uh, international conference that we've just been to. Seven week. Don't we wish. Don't we wish. Seven weeks away. Seven days away. Seven days away. And so we're going to hear some testimony from them. We're going to hear what the experience was of the trip a little later in the presentation. Um, and I would love to actually just talk about the Rank 9 trip the entire evening, but we're going to go through the normal intro presentation so our guests are aware of what this business is all about and who we're all about. Um, I'd also like to welcome everyone who's tuned in around the country because we have a formidable um, audience around the country that's tuned in and Brendan, our senior executive, is tuned in from Mauritius, so we hope he's watching. Um, All right, uh, we're going to spend probably, uh, normally the presentation is between 45 minutes and an hour. Uh, I suspect with the testimony we're going to go over a little bit of time, so I hope you'll bear with us. Um, and then afterwards you're welcome to speak to me and ask me any questions, ask any of the rank nines any questions. Check that they're not actors, that we haven't paid them to say things. <laughs> All right, so let's begin. Uh, as you can see, Dewpoint is a division of another business called Constantia Insurance Company Limited. Uh, Constantia was founded in 1952 and has been operating in the financial space very successfully for almost seven decades. Uh, they, we don't share buildi a building with them. They're down the road in Randburg. Uh, that's their building, a uh, little orange logo that they use. Uh, the FSP number is that one you see there. That's very important. Uh, we're obviously regulated by the Financial Services Board. You'll notice in our foyer above the water cooler, we've got all our Financial Services Board licenses on display. So we've got a license to operate in the insurance market. Um, long and short term in, uh, investments. Uh, we've got our FSP license on display. We've also got our accreditation with the Direct Marketing and Direct Selling Association. So go take a look at that. We take credibility very seriously here at Dewpoint. That is our stamp of credibility. So go take a look at that. We listed on the Joburg Stock Exchange under a group called Conduit Capital. So you're welcome to go do a background check on us. Uh, these individuals up on screen are the executives and the senior managers here at Dewpoint, starting with the least good looking. Best looking, least, least, shortest, going to the best good looking and the tallest. No? He's listening. He's heard the joke before as well. So Brendan is our senior executive here. We're very lucky to have him heading up the division because he's extremely experienced in financial services. Uh, he comes from a... A uh, family that has insurance pedigree. His father is Dr. Brian Benfield, who started Clientel Life. His father uh, taught at WITS for 25 years. He's been in the insurance space for 50 years. He's headed up businesses globally. Uh, Brendan and his brother Stuart followed in their father's footsteps. They went on to found a short-term insurer down the road called Prime Meridian Direct, or PMD, which has been very successful too. Um, these three characters, by the way, are all registered chartered accountants. Tim and Stacy. Stacy's with us. Um, this evening, Tim is uh, looking after a newborn that he had in December, so he's not getting a lot of sleep. But uh, together they head up the auditing and the financial aspects of our business. Um, Tim's very experienced in corporate banking. He was with the First Rand Group in a fairly senior position there for about 15 years. Stacey has worked with Deloitte all her working career here as well as overseas. And then the two more interesting non-accountants are Jane and myself. Uh, Jane is also here with us this evening, controlling our live stream going out to the internet. And she's got a lot of experience in uh, direct marketing or direct selling or network marketing. Uh, she's from the UK. She brings international experience with her to our team, which is very important because even though we're an insurance company, our growth is very much dependent on our ability to work in the network marketing space. And so Jane brings that expertise to us. And then myself, I've been working in marketing and advertising for 20 years. I ran an agency for 15 years. Um, I might touch on why I left that business, uh, but that's a bit of background on us and the business. You're welcome to go do a hello Peter check on all of us, see if we've been up to any mischief in the past. I promise you we haven't. Um, so go do a background check. Credibility is very important. You need to trust the business that we're going to be speaking about this evening. And so if there's any doubt in your mind, do what you need to do just to um, allay that, uh, that fear that you might have. 
Um, I briefly discuss the circumstances that we find ourselves in because it's quite important. We, um, there are these driving factors that exist in South Africa um, that lead people to look at entrepreneurial opportunity beyond what employment provides for us. Um, so unfortunately, they're all negative things because if uh, our salaries, our employment was the answer to all our financial woes, we wouldn't be here this evening. You'd be at home very happy with the 10, 15% increase you got every year in your salary and no one ever got retrenched, right? Fairy tale stuff. And so we find ourselves here. Uh, the circumstance that we find ourselves in, one, uh, we look at the economy, very high interest rates, food inflation is astronomical. We've got high interest rates. Uh, we see it in the fact that our salaries aren't keeping up with those rates. So I often ask the audience, and we've got a fairly large audience here, about 140 people. Has anyone in the audience received a 6 7% increase in their salaries for the last seven years running? Not a single person, right? Um, and that's exactly what it typically looks for the average South African. Your salary is falling away with what the cost of living is. And unfortunately, what we try to do is we try to band-aid over this gap that's formed between salary and cost of living using debt. And unfortunately, that's not the answer. That is a very... It's not even a short-term solution, right? That's you just desperately trying to get through the end of the month or um, make yourself feel better that you have more money than what you actually have um, because our salaries are never going to get to the point where we're able to pay off our debt. The situation exacerbates itself because later in life when we start getting closer to retirement, you're going to be forced to have to answer a couple of questions as to what you've done over a lifetime of employment with regards to retirement. And we look at statistics that we get from the FSB that paint this picture of personal finance for a lot of people. And unfortunately, only about, 90, well, only about 3% of the population gets to retirement financially independent. So out of 140 people, there's maybe two or three people in the audience that are going to get to retirement uh, with the outlook of a dignified retirement. The rest of us are going to have to downgrade our lifestyles. We're going to have to depend on children and other family members, perhaps government grants. This is not a dignified retirement. And so what this business presentation is really about is about creating opportunity to change that circumstance for yourself. Uh, out of all of this negativity, uh, as a business, we saw the opportunity to create a platform that the average South African can engage in. Um, we called it the Dewpoint System. It was launched almost 24 months ago. Uh, so we're almost 24 months old. We have three aspirations in mind for the people here. You might be thinking, well, I'm just here to earn more money. But we actually go a bit beyond that. Money is just a means to an end. That end for us are these three aspirations. Number one, for you to aspire to becoming debt-free. I imagine everyone in this room has got debt, right? When last did you think about just getting rid of your debt completely? When were you realistically in a situation where you could start planning to get rid of your debt? or you're just managing to get through each month and each year. Because what happens is, um, what we want to do is empower people to create wealth. But you cannot create wealth if you owe other people money. Right? So our first aspiration, get rid of debt. Second aspiration, start creating wealth. We do that in terms of owning assets, creating investments that we have ownership in. And then the third aspiration happens all on its own, and that is you being happier at the end of the month. And you'll see the rank nine should be very happy. Maybe a little depressed now that they're back from Mauritius. <laughs> but they were certainly happy a few days ago, right? And that's really what Dewpoint's all about. It's about changing our circumstances for ourselves and our families and even generations to come. Um, so our guests here this evening. How many guests do we have in the audience? Just a quick show of hands. Let me show. It's the only question I'm going to ask you. Okay, welcome. It's always good to have more guests than wealth engineers. Otherwise, they're not doing their jobs. Okay. So I guess you have the opportunity to join Dewpoint this evening. Uh, once you join Dewpoint, you actually contract with us. We call you wealth engineers once you contract with us. And our, your only task, your sole task, is to go out and build what we call these channels of distribution. And I'll show you what a channel of distribution looks like. But through these channels of distribution, which is really you just introducing people to Dewpoint, our online platform will facilitate the sale of products to those people. That's as basic as this business gets. It's very simple to, to uh, describe. The benefit for you, for the wealth engineers, is that you get to create additional income for yourself. Now, this is obvious. This is why you're here. It's not for the free juice. Um, but what's important to note is that the nature of the income that we produce is recurring. Uh, this is something that's inherent to insurance companies and not a lot uh, of businesses get to create uh, recurring income. My business, for example, that I ran for 15 years, we couldn't create any recurring income. What that means is, at the end of the month, I started at zero, right? And then I'd have to do all the work, go look for the business, do the business, invoice the business, pay salaries, pay everything else, and hope I've got enough. 
And at the end of those 30, 31 days, start at zero again. And I did that for 15 years. Shoot myself, right? My father even hinted to me when I was about to become a teenager. He said, get involved in business that pays you when you sleep. Didn't know what he was talking about. Right? It's recurring income. It's passive income. It's the ability to make money without having to be actively engaged in some task. This business allows you to do that. Right? Power duplication. Also, another benefit that allows you to break the constraints of time. It's leverage. It's your opportunity to go out and find other like-minded individuals to collaborate with you in building your channel of distribution. So if you only have an hour to spare in this business a day, but you've got 20 people collaborating with you in your channel that you introduced to the business, now suddenly you've got 21 hours being invested into your channel of distribution, in turn increasing your recurring income every month. The business is flexi time. Uh, so I often begrudge the fact why well, I think people sometimes treat this as a hobby, right? As something on the side, so they don't treat it seriously. We make it very low risk, very easy and accessible to get involved in the business. Again, they don't treat it with the seriousness that it deserves. When I say flexi time, you have the luxury of deciding what this business looks like for you. In terms of your week, the time that you invest and sacrifice for this business, you get to choose that. But at the same time, if you want to be successful, if one day, hopefully this year, at the end of this year, you want to be standing up on the stage with the other rank nines. You have to take this business seriously, like any business. So even though it might be flexi time, you need to come to terms with the fact that you're going to be sacrificing time in this business and doing this business, hopefully when you don't feel like it. Because if you only do it when you feel like it, you'll never get to where you need to get to. Uh, no startup capital. We make the business as accessible and as risk-free as possible. There's no startup fees. There's no registration fees. Uh, we don't ask you to buy a bulk of product to get started in our business. There's no qualifications or experience required. That's important because we work within FSB regulation, but we contract you out of that obligation. So you can enjoy the benefit of being involved in financial services. And fewer and fewer people have that uh, option nowadays. But we've been able to contract you out of that obligation. You didn't bring CVs with you tonight, did you? Right? Accessible to everybody. Um, you get to build an asset. Now, for me, this is the most important benefit because I would like to know that if I'm sacrificing time into a business, I have ownership over that business I'm building. Not so? Yet in employment, we will spend 40, 45 years working for somebody else, building up someone else's asset, happily, where we never really get to partake in the upside of that business, right? So what's the upside of business? If the business does well, does your salary suddenly go up? If the business doubles in turnover, does your salary double? Do you get a bigger dividend check every quarter when the business is doing well? Do you go home and say, lovey, my shares have increased in the business this week? Right? No, you don't get to partake in the upside. But you sacrifice an entire lifetime building someone else's asset where you have to partake in the downside. Because if the business doesn't do well, then you get told at the end of financial year, sorry, you can't give anyone a raise. The economy, the business, the industry. When it does really badly, you get told there's going to be retrenchments. Right? In this business, the time that you sacrifice into building these channels of distribution, you have legal tender over this channel of distribution. You have ownership over it. It means you can sell it. It will survive you. It will keep paying you once you're retired. It will keep paying once you die. You can cede it to your beneficiaries. You can hand it over to your kids. Instead of handing over debt. Right? So we should be happy to sacrifice time into this business. There's no selling involved. So this is a great benefit because I assume the majority of the people here don't like to sell. Right? The prospect of spending your weekend trying to convince somebody to buy something is not a great prospect. It's not something I want to do. And so we contract you out of selling. You don't have to sell. You're going to be going out and just exposing people to this business opportunity. I promise you, business opportunity is the number one commodity that exists in South Africa today because of the circumstance that we find ourselves in. You tell people, I've got a business opportunity for you that earns you money, you'll get people that are interested in it. You don't have to try to sell them anything. There's no stock or distribution. The nature of our products are financial. So again, benefit. No one brought their uncle's bucky this evening, did you? Do you expect to go home with milkshakes and vitamins tonight? No. They don't expire. They don't take up space anywhere, right? We don't have stock and distribution issues. 
So we make the business, the product as convenient as possible. But your success is very much dependent on your ability to build a channel of distribution. So this, I told you, I was going to show you what it looks like. It begins with you, the wealth engineer. You are the CEO. You are the MD of your channel of distribution. I'm hoping you will go out and find like-minded individuals, people at your peer level, people that you find resourceful, effective, people that you could depend on to come into the business and start collaborating with you. They individually will start their own channels, right? So the first five individuals that you brought in, and they will go out and start doing the same thing you're doing. This is where the collaboration takes place, the leverage. Because they're going to go out and start telling other people about the business. And before you know it, you have this organic growth that takes place in your business. But it only happens if you bring quality people into the business in the beginning. You can't go out into the street and say, anyone want to earn money, come see me. <laughs> right? People do that. They do. They come to me. They say, oh, I want a gazebo. Can I get a dew point gazebo? I say, why do you want a gazebo? <laughs> no, I want to go put it there by the side of the street. Then people know what I'm selling. Right? There's a whole bunch of problems in that sentence right there. No, this business is very much about relationship. I describe you as a CEO because I want you to go out and find your board of executives. Right? Reputable effective people to start your business with because what I want is in a few years time that you will have a sustainable business a sustainable business is something that you don't have to take care every minute of the day and then you'll be in the position where you can take three months leave and expect to earn the same amount from dew point every month while you're on holiday imagine that so that's what a channel of distribution looks like you'll be warned this is our disclaimer slide very appropriate picture can you all see the ballerina right it's an analogy of business, of entrepreneurship. Anyone know successful entrepreneurs? Right? It looks easy, doesn't it? Because you never see them working hard. You don't know the long hours they're putting in. You don't understand the stress they carry on their shoulders. And so we think this is what business looks like. The ballerina with a beautiful ballet pump on. But to be a professional dancer, that's what a real ballet dancer's foot looks like. We don't get to see that. Business is the same. And you need to be realistic about what's required in business. We're not one of these get-rich-quick schemes. Right? We're a very reputable business, extending business opportunity to the public. And if you want to engage in that, be prepared to fight for what you want. Because it's going to require a little bit of blood, sweat, and tears. We will do everything to support you, to see you successful. But don't arrive in a presentation like this thinking it's going to land in your lap. And then blame the system in three months when you quit because you haven't done anything. Okay? I'll disclaim a slide. How do you earn in this business? There are two ways to earn as a wealth engineer. Number one is through our returns program. And number two is through our rewards program. So our returns program is what we pay wealth engineers at the end of every month. Right? The recurring income that you get to generate for yourself. So this is what the returns program looks like. We pay a base return fee of 2750 for every product that you have in your channel. But that is dependent on where the product lies in relation to yourself. So the first few people that you introduce to the business, your board of directors, that product lies on your first point. And on your first point, we actually pay you 55 Rand for every product every month. Remember, it's recurring income. They go out and build a point up there. The second point, that's product on your second point. And again, you get paid 55 Rand for every product. And as your business starts to grow, your channel starts to grow to the third point, to the fourth point, all the way to the eighth point, the multiplier drops steadily. But what's important to note is that at the eighth point, it carries on paying out 4% onwards. So we don't limit you at point eight. We've already got uh, wealth engineers that are building their channels close on 30 points already, right? In the space of less than two years. You, 10 years time, you'll be beyond point 30. We don't limit you at point eight. We will keep paying you the 4% of the 2750 from point eight onwards, in theory, into infinity. We don't limit you on how much money you can earn at due point. The accountability always lies with yourself. So this is the mechanics of the returns. The next question we get often is, well, give me an idea of what people earn in this business. So we built this thing called the path to success. It is actually a projection over the next five years that is dependent on a uh, growth example, a growth formula that we call three plus two. It assumes as a brand new wealth engineer, you would be able to bring three people into the business in the first month. And then every consecutive month thereafter, you only have to bring in two. So we call it three plus two, the three plus two growth model. It's three in January, 
Two in February, two in March, two in April, two in May, into perpetuity. Keep bringing two. It's one person every two weeks, right? Doesn't sound too onerous, I hope. Uh, after six months, you can expect to be earning about two and a half thousand rand a month in recurring income. Is that a lot? Is that a little? I look for expressions. Everyone's deadpan. <laughs> in your head, you're thinking, you better bring up a bigger number, otherwise I'm leaving. <laughs> right? Is that the case? My first impression of the example was two and a half thousand rand is not much after six months worth of work. Six months worth of work, two and a half thousand rand a month. But let me give you some context around the value of money because often we make the mistake of thinking like consumers, right? I say two and a half thousand rand, you already know what you can buy with two and a half thousand rand, what you can pay off in your cost of living list that month with two and a half thousand rand. But if your goal was to create wealth, would you be thinking how to spend two and a half thousand rand or how to leverage the two and a half thousand rand? I want you to leverage the two and a half thousand rand, right? I want you to pay your debt off faster, start creating wealth. And I'm going to illustrate it to you. Here we have an example of someone with a million rand debt, a million rand bond. Gone to the bank, they didn't have the money, the bank agreed to give them money for the property they wanted to buy and you entered into a bond contract. The contract term was 20 years, like most bonds, right? We all go for the 20-year bond because we want the biggest house for the small salary that we have. You know you can have a shorter bond. No one knows that. Anyway, right? So 20 years. So I'm 40. I engage in this bond with the bank at about prime plus 2%. I'm paying about 11,500 rand to the bank every single month for 20 years. I'm 40. At the age of 60, I'll finally make my final installment and become a homeowner for the first time in my life. Hopefully, I don't get retrenched along the way because that just causes big problems, right? But I joined Dewpoint. Six months later, with some success, I'm earning 2,500 rand. And Rob says I must do a very boring thing and pay my debt or faster instead of buying nice shoes every month, right? What is the net effect of that? Why would I do that? Because it'll drop the term in that bond from 20 years to 11 and a half years. You won't have to wait until you're 60. You'll pay that house off at the age of 51. It'll save you in repayments back to the bank almost a million rand. A million rand that you get to save. That blew my mind. Right? Two and a half thousand rand. I didn't believe it. I went onto Google, went and looked at a compound interest calculator on Google, came on the page, put in all the figures, put an extra two and a half thousand rand, nearly a million rand saved. Just like that just by putting money into your debt. At 12 months, you're earning in excess of 100,000 rand annually in annual recurring income. Who would like a 100,000 rand check at the end of every year? Who got a 100,000 rand check at the end of this year? Nobody. No, we don't have any high rollers in the audience. Right? We keep going. Don't worry, we're going to become high rollers. Just hold on. 24 months, you're going to be earning close to 30,000 rand a month. That is a really high roller territory. You can be earning 200,000 rand a month. An extra 30,000 rand a month is notable. We keep going. After 36 months, you're earning nearly 50,000 rand a month. Bond example again, 5 million rand bond. Here I have a 5 million rand bond, right? At the 30-month mark, I'm earning about 36,000 rand. I have the choice. Choice that I make every single month. Am I going to take the money? pay my debt or faster or go buy something nice. You can buy a brand new 911 Porsche GTS for 36,000 rand a month. See, that's where my weakness will come in. I'll be like, Ooh, I don't know if I want to put the money in the bond. I want the Porsche rather. Take the Porsche. Right? But if you do put the money into the bond, you'll pay that bond off in less than seven years. At the age of 47, I'll become a homeowner of a 5 million rand house. I've paid my debt off. I now decide to start creating wealth. So I decide to start investing in property. I buy a second house and pay that off at the age of 54. I buy a third house and pay that off at the age of 61. Brendan retires me. He's tired of my jokes at Dewpoint and doing presentations after 21 years. But I go into retirement owning three properties. One I live in, two I'm renting out for 60, 70,000 rand a month. Right? Now, now I'm in a position where I can go buy my Porsche. Right? And who knows what Dewpoint's paying me after 21 years. We keep going. At 48 months, we're close to 70,000 rand a month. After 60 months, five years, five years away, a short five years away, you've created for yourself about a million rand in annual recurring income. Who would like to swap that 100,000 rand check for a million rand check once a year? A 
like 60 months away. Ask yourself the question, what were you doing 60 months ago? You have to make the decision now. It requires a step of faith, as any risk that has reward attached to it does. But this is all academic. It's theory, right? The accountants came up with it. It was a projection that we did based on this 3 plus 2 growth model. You can do less than that. You can be part of what I call the 0 plus 0 club. Right? That blames the system, gives up, has all these excuses in the world. But you can also exceed 3 plus 2. Because the accountability always falls in your lap. You decide. Every morning when you wake up in the morning, you decide what you're going to spend your day doing. And so we showcase wealth engineers every month that show tenacity in this business. Right? Great examples of people that don't give up. People that surprise us with the success and the growth that they have. Because this is still early days. When people have been with us after five years, ten years, then I can say, you've built a sustainable business. This is still early success. So here's Nick and Chaney. They joined uh, over a year ago. They're actually a little bit behind three plus two. Did they become despondent and give up? Did they look at two and a half thousand rand after a year and go, that's not much. It's not worth our time. Do you know how much money you need to have in the bank to give yourself two and a half thousand rand in recurring income? Half a million rand cash in the bank will pay that out to you. They created it in the space of 12 months. But it's growing. That's the important thing, right? They've given themselves way more increase than their bosses have given them. We keep going. Jack DeLama from Pumalanga joined in January, so he's been here for about a year. In November, he was already at over 8,000 a month. Lord Don Landon from PE. Everyone's on holiday in PE. Also about a year in excess of 11,000 a month. This is all November business. Uh, this lady, I actually looked at her business at the beginning of December, so I can tell you how she's grown since then. Free State, Motelot Sona, wonderful lady, joined in April, had amazing growth in the business, right? Sitting at 11,500, by mid-December in excess of 25,000. She gave herself a 100% increase in the space of 30 days. Do you think she did it on her own? She has got a strong board of executives. Strong board of executives. She cannot do it on her own. That's why I say it's so important to find people that you can collaborate with that are effective and resourceful. Don't go for the easy pickings, the desperate people. If you're desperate, you're going to find desperate people. Right? So go look. We've got uh, YouTube. There's a testimony section. Go look at all the videos. Over the last two years, we've got wealth engineers every single month that we showcase. Everyone with a different story, everyone with different background, different experience. My point is anyone can do the business. Anybody. We've got thousands of wealth engineers joining this business every month, creating income for themselves beyond what their employers provide. Right? Taking control over their income for the first time in their lives. You get to decide what you want. So this is our returns program. This is what we pay in recurring income at the end of every month to our wealth engineers. I told you there was a second way to benefit. That's through our rewards program. We call it the XP rewards program. Um, and it works like this. You become a wealth engineer and you will start engaging in normal wealth engineer activity. Right? Like coming to presentations like this. Bringing guests with you. Watching training videos. Uh, logging into our app. Doing all kinds of things. There are about 20 different things. You can see them floating past you. And when you start doing these things, we award you with something called XP. It stands for experience points. It's just points. It just tells us how active you are. And when you start collecting points and your business, your channel starts to grow in terms of your qualified products, then you start to rank up in our rewards program. So you'll start out as a rank zero wealth engineer, right? You're still part of the zero plus zero club. So you want to get to rank one. What do you need for rank one? A thousand XP, you need four products in your qualified channel, and bang, suddenly you rank one, and we give you a 55 rand once off reward so you can go have a cappuccino and a croissant and celebrate with yourself. Right? The reward's too small to share it with anyone else. Right? Humble beginnings. Because as you start to rank up in the business, as you start collecting more XP, as your business starts to grow, the rewards get bigger. And notable, there's a 20,000 rand check, a 50,000 rand check. 
We give tools to our wealth engineers that help them be more effective in building their channels. At rank five, here's Patrick and Pumi. They received a Lightning USB drive. It's a fancy little drive. The beauty of it is that it plugs into any device. We've all got different devices, right? So it's a pain trying to be compatible with devices. This little thing is compatible with all devices. Apple, Android, the bananas that some of us have, um, <laughs> tablets, plugs into TVs nowadays, computers, laptops. But the beauty is that all our videos are on that little device. And Patrick and Pumi can show people the Dewpoint business opportunity regardless of what device they have around them. At rank seven, we get these premium luxury business cards manufactured. They cost us 12 and a half thousand rand a set. Why would we go to such an extent for business cards? Because this business is very much dependent on first impressions, on credibility. Because if you go up to someone and you mention that you've got a business opportunity called Dewpoint to them, and I say, I've never heard of Dewpoint, perhaps. We're getting there, we're getting there. So I've never heard of Dewpoint. But when you put a 12,500 rand business card on the table, right, that looks like that. It's four times thicker than the other card. There's no ink on that card. The sides, the logo, are all gilded in gold. It's printed on a black recycled paper that feels like suede. The card's 50 times more expensive than the person sitting opposite you's business card. <laughs> Your credibility rises off the table and it gives you the opportunity, perhaps two or three minutes, to explain what Dewpoint's all about. At rank nine, drum roll. <laughs> At rank nine, this is one of the ranks where the reward is not once off. So this is actually a recurring reward. Our rank nines come, us, come with us on this rank nine trip every single year for the rest of your life. You and your family, business class flights to a five-star luxury resort, all expenses paid trip for seven days. Right? Do you want to take a look at the video? Do you want to see what we were up to in the last week? Right? So have a look and decide if you are joining us. In 11 months' time, we embark on this trip again with the rest of the Rank Nines. And I'm hoping that we will double, if not triple, the amount of people joining us. But it is up to you.
So you can see what we got up to. Um, so I'm going to invite the rank nines, some of them, Spa's not with us, um, to come up onto stage. And they are going to tell us what this trip meant to them. Because um, I think by default we might think that it's just a trip away. But if you know anything about the Benfields, they don't do anything in small measures. They only want the best. Um, so Rulof, take it away. Okay. Just before I start about the trip, I just want to state categorically, there are some beach bums here that have been following me for the last nine days. <laughs> I don't know them. <laughs> okay, uh, guys, getting back to the trip, it was absolutely awesome. I mean, it started, we, we woke up that morning, bags were packed, etc., and that thing with the name and the surname arrived at the house. Mercedes Benz picked us up, uh, took us to the airport, um, where we got into the plane, and now I know why they serve that champagne the minute you get into business class. You know why? Because you sit there with your champagne and then the sardines come past you. <laughs> you know, they, they, they'd sit in a can at the back. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was, um, the flight was absolutely awesome. Um, and please don't do what I did. Wait 63 years before, before you fly business class. Yeah. Don't do that. Okay, do it now. Um, arriving at the hotel, it was, we were um, welcomed by like this welcoming committee and it was like, two rows of people standing there and the way they, they're very humble people and they touch their heart every time they greet you um, it was just uh, out of this world and you see this beautiful view this absolutely five-star luxury um, yeah we ate we drank we had a whale of a time um, it was absolutely awesome and it, uh, like Rob said when the Benfields do something there's no half measures it's absolutely the best um, you know it's, some people say but I've already been to Mauritius I promise you, you have not been to Mauritius if you haven't been there with your point. Amen. It is just absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, um, we, were, we were blessed um, that I could expose my family to that. Um, it's such a privilege. Um, I'm so blessed that I'm able to do that. And you owe it to your family. They must, they must be able to experience something like that and know there are good things in life that they can aspire to. So you are coming back again, uh, we were, uh, uh, they were waiting at the airport with a little board, you know, Mr. Furi, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, the Mercedes Benz was waiting, taking us home. And we, yeah, we we're just so blessed that we had that opportunity to be there. We would love to take you guys with. Um, that's the only reason why we came back is to fetch you. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> please don't make us wait. Yeah, for me, one of the most the wonderful things was the friendships that we've made along the way and the people that we spent time with. And when I got here tonight and I saw someone like Donnie and Malcolm and Rob, and I said to them, they look totally different with clothes on. <laughs> 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 uh, but it's special people. Um, we've traveled extensively and now we've always traveled in the past. We would decide we go somewhere, let's say it's Rome and then you've got a budget. So you've got so many euros to spend per day. So you know there's no way that you can afford a pizza for both. You can afford a slice of pizza. And you know, um, I love uh, cooking programs like Master Chef and things like that. And then I look at it and uh, especially programs from other countries and then they talk about kale and they talk about capsicum and they talk about truffles. And I've always wondered our tastes. And then we get there and all of a sudden it's langoustines and it's crayfish and it's truffle infused soup. <laughs> Doesn't it? it sounds wonderful and it was absolutely wonderful. And if you travel, you don't touch your bar fridge if you pay for it yourself. Because whatever you, you use in your bar fridge, you've got to pay for in euros. So you never go there. Even though you feel like having that chocolate, our bar fridge was stocked every day with two bottles of wine, oh. beer, appetizer, Cokes, five chocolates, two. <laughs> so you, you can hear, I love food. <laughs> So that was absolutely, it was an, an amazing, amazing experience. And for our children, because that's the future of South African, of, of South Africa, our children to be able to take hands 
and know that there's a better future out there, but it's there for the taking if you're prepared to pay the price. Oh. It's worth it. <laughs> Hello guys, everyone who's watching, live streaming, and guys are sitting inside there. And Brendan, I hope you're watching, but I will say hello to you. I'll say bonjour, because we're Mauritius. Uh, guys, this was so nice. It started from the airport, in the airplane, it was so nice, big, uh, big chairs. I was even sleeping like I'm sleeping in my room. <laughs> And uh, when we get there to over uh, to, uh, at Mauritius, it was so nice. We only saw Mercedes Benz coming to pick us, not uh, da da da. There's other cars. It was it was very, it was very very nice. And I thought maybe we're going to relax. Brendan always saying to us, guys, you work now. You must work and work because you're gonna be relaxing in Mauritius. Guys, let me tell you something. You won't be relaxing. You'll be eating. You'll be drinking. So I just want to tell you the truth. <laughs> you won't be relaxing. So it was very nice. Before I even forget, let's say, guys, if you don't see two point if it's right for you, please do it for the kids. It was so nice, guys, because you won't be able to take to take the kids for yourself. So just just do for them. If you're struggling, we are here to help you. Please, guys. And every year, people always cry, say, "We can't wait for the next year, guys." I am telling you. If 2017 was bad for you, even 2018 is going to be is going to be bad if you don't change. But as you're a new person coming to, to today to the presentation, just join now. Don't go ask your husband because you're going to say no. Don't go ask your wife; he's going to say no. Just join, work, give him the money after at least. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys, oh, I'm so excited. Okay. The first night that we were in Mauritius, this is what we got, free. Free. <laughs> it's a brand, a real brand. So all our towels were here. There's something inside. <laughs> it's water. <laughs> so yeah, it was so amazing. I don't know where to start. One thing that I can remember is that I conquered my fear. You know what is it? Walking under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I got the certificate. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> but that was a great experience. Scary, but I'm glad that I did it. And uh, it was so amazing. The food. We're all going to be saying ev everything about the food here. You know, because today when I got home, okay, we, ca we came back yesterday. And today my son was so morning. He was like, Mommy, there's no food in this house. <laughs> I said, darling, this is not Mauritius. <laughs> you know, because the beverage, as like, uh, Masha Ki was saying, that is always being stocked every day. They have chocolates, they've got cold drinks, they've got everything. In fact, the kids that I doubt that they ate, do you think they, eat, they ate? They never. I remember my son was only having a roll and walk and run to the sweet corner. Because <laughs> he knows that I'm going to fight with him if he doesn't have anything in his tongue. You see, so thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, everyone. And to the team, guys, this is doable. If we did it, you too, you can do it. Okay, if you feel that it's difficult, come help. Come and, help and ask us how did we do it. At the everyone here is willing to help. We're all willing to help. As uh, Rulof was saying, we're here to fetch you. We're all going back again in December 2018. Thank you. Uh, sorry, it's going to come back to you. Guys, again, if you're going with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with Jupo and this vacation, don't carry your money. Today, I was, I was like, sure my, my, if my, my, my card is still working. Because for seven days, <laughs> I wasn't using it. <laughs> so today I, today, I went to the mall. Uh, just to see if my card is still working because I went to take money out. <laughs> First I went to the mall to see if the card is going to work, then the card was working, then I went and took the money out because I was for seven days I wasn't using my, 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 my card. You don't even take how train to go to the airport. They pick you right to your house. Even when you come back, they drop you to your house. Not like wherever I was before, where you must take a train, Going to the airport, you must pay for your flight to go to Mauritius. You qualify here is not like that. You don't carry nothing. 
again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna say we're gonna talk the whole night. Sorry, yeah, but it's an excitement, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, Mauritius. I've been to Mauritius. This was the third time going to Mauritius. Yeah? If you're sitting here and you're saying, "Yeah, I've been to Mauritius," whatever, uh, rule of I'll, I'll, I'll again agree with you. Never You've never to Mauritius with Jew Point. Try Jew Point this time. You know, it's been amazing. Free food, <laughs> prawns. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna say free food. You know, food. We know food, food, food. It has been food everywhere, you know. Again, guys, I cannot stop saying this, but thank you to the executive team. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Stacy there. Thank you, team and the baby key. Thank you, Rob. And thank you, Brandon. Um, thank you the, to the Castle Market de Department as well. You guys are doing like wonders for us. And uh, we, like we owe you, we owe it to you. You know, I will, if I don't go to Mauritius again, or if you don't take your kids, guys, I, don't, I doubt you'll sleep better at night. Uh, well, everything has been said, so I can just basically say ditto. <laughs> um, I'm, a, I'm a person that um, I, can, I can't resist temptation. And uh, when I opened that fridge that first night, and all those chocolates <laughs> were there. <laughs> I grabbed them all and I ate them all. <laughs> and the next day, it was filled again. So I done the same again. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I'm trying to keep fit, but I'm telling you these seven days that didn't do my fitness very well. But uh, you get spoiled rotten. Not only the fridge, there are four or five restaurants you can eat there just as much as you like you just say that you got to the full package and the full package means the full package you can have anything you want drink eat whatever you like it's it's almost 24 7 they got a private gym <laughs> i tried that the first two or three days <laughs> and then i got just too lazy it's, just, it's much nicer eating you just go lie in the bed and the feeling goes away <laughs> No, I really enjoyed it, and, and really, people, it's, it's, not an, it's not something that we're just saying. Uh, I've never in my life ever been spoiled so much as this. Uh, we didn't have to pay one cent out of our pocket, nothing. They paid for every single thing, for the transport, for everything. It's been paid by the company. Thanks very much, Rob and uh, Brendan. Uh, we've been spoiled before, but not as much as this ever. Yeah. Thank you. Guys, I tell you, this is the most exotic, powerful, uh, fantastic, you feel like a queen when you lie in that special bath in the middle of the bathroom that is so big you can't <laughs> almost see the end of it. <laughs> and it, the shower, Malcolm gets lost in the shower. <laughs> 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 it's fantastic. Uh, it's a king size bed, so he was sleeping on the one side and I was sleeping on the other. <laughs> so for three nights we didn't even touch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was amazing is breakfast you get a buffet breakfast then lunch is three course meal dinner is three course meal so later on i went to the management and i said to them i can't eat so much <laughs> <laughs> can i please just say i don't want uh, this many food in they say yes you can pick and choose whatever you want just if you can't eat then it's fine <laughs> So, in the first three days, I was just eating all the exotic foods, you know, <laughs> everything that I would never eat. <laughs> and later on, my stomach was getting very upset because <laughs> <laughs> it's not used to all this, you know. <laughs> so, from the fourth day, I started getting a little bit normal again, <laughs> eating normal food. And but it was just awesome. You can go to any place. You just s say that you're from Dewpoint, and they say, yes, what room you are? 
good, it's included. Everything's included, the ice cream, the drinks, the whatever. So it is, it's the most wonderful feeling that you get. And the dew point people, I found them to be fantastic, wonderful, warm pers uh, personalities. And they, they want to help you. And we also want to help every person. And we want to help our teams. Please, you guys that's watching there, please come with next time. Work hard this year. We want you with us. You will see. It is a fantastic experience. And it will change your life forever. And thank you to Dew Point and Management. You did an awesome job. Everybody, we really appreciate you. All our teams that worked hard also so that we can go. We want to work hard so that you can go. Okay, thank you. God bless. Yeah, if I, there's not much I can add to it, but I'll try. <laughs> first, first, if you look at my size, you know, <laughs> for me, you know, I'm nearly 50 years old, and I, I reckon I've seen a lot of life. And most of us in this room or watching tonight have seen a lot of life. Now, on Dewpoint, we're trying to approach people, and sometimes people say no to us, and you know. But how often in life is there things that you wanted or tried, and you just said no to yourself, and you thought there's no way that it could be possible? Just like you, I sat in the same room a couple of months ago, thinking the same thoughts as you, and I started to speak to people. Now, I'm a bit stupid. I don't keep my mouth shut I just keep on I spoke to nearly 300 people of which of 60 of them decided so far to do deal point and this is why I went now when I got in business classes the second time the first time in my life I've flown business classes through deal point the second time in my life was through deal point wow. <laughs> and, 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 and every time I've done it I had my wife and kids with me now the kids, they adapt, they, they are modern era, they, they adapt all the gadgets and screens, but I was checking this wine list and this TV screen, watching a latest released movie, I was hoying the buffalo, I mean, hoying the chair back, <laughs> having a massage in my chair, and I couldn't touch the guy in front of my chair, even if I was stretching, I couldn't touch him, that's how big the plane is inside. And I was looking at the kids and they had blankets over them and Rob's child was sitting with my kids on their bed, you know, <laughs> watching movies, whatever they, they're watching. And then we got off to Mauritius and I've been to Mauritius before and my first impression was it was a mistake. You know, it's, we're in the wrong queue. But, but, but you adapt to that. The people have said they give you a lot of food and some people say, what, what do they mean by that? It means there's five restaurants on the premises. And you can choose where you want to go at certain times. <coughs> and when you get there, they give you the menu. And it's a full menu. It means you've got starters, full meal, and pudding. And whatever you can drink. A and if you go back to the restaurant, you can eat totally something different, as much as you like, and they will pay for it. And, uh, and I think one of the highlights for me was, there was this umbrella, and it's got an electronic button on it. <laughs> and I thought, wait. And I pressed it, and here comes a guy with a tray and say, what do you want, sir? <laughs> <laughs> so we pressed that button for it. <laughs> and we got a deck chair this distance from Rob to me to the ocean, and this distance from me and my neighbor to the pool. And that pool is large. It's bigger than my yard. I'm serious. I'm not joking. That's a few thousand square meter swimming pool. The kids played hide and seek between the palm trees, and you have sometimes had to stand up and walk to see where they are. And you see, well, they're playing there now. And we were eating and drinking, and so what I did that day, I had my orange costume, and me and Rulof were checking the Indian Ocean, and we ordered something. I said to the waiter, bring me something bright that fits my orange. <laughs> <laughs> so he came with something bright to drink, so I took my cell phone, I lift my leg, I've got my kneecap, my orange drink, and my toes, and the Indian Ocean, I took a nice picture. <laughs> and I've sent it to all the people that said no to me. <laughs> <laughs> and and Rulof is there, you can ask him. And all I said, brother, cheers. Huh? <laughs> 
but maybe it's not working. I don't know. And the highlight, I would agree with everywhere, is the kids. If you can just hear the kids talking and playing. Sometimes they were in my girls' room watching movies, and then they went to Rulof's grandson, and, and, and the, p the children went totally, they became lifelong friends. They were playing. I remember the one night, each of us dished, and it was, I think, Pumbi, you had a lot of crayfish that night. If I see you, I thought, was it the same fish or another fish? I don't know, but here comes. <laughs> And the table was long and right in the end was Rob's little daughter, Sienna, and she dished for herself and it was just sweeties. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. And she and, 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 and Pumi's uh, child, Yami, was, I uh, had just as many sweeties as well. So I walked over there and I looked at this little red mouth and I said, did you find this yourself? Yes. And I said, <laughs> where? And as I said, where? Both of them flew. They were running as fast as the little legs could go around the corner. They took me and they said, there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So me and Sandra got some sweeties as well. Uh. The rooms were out of this world. Everything was made of glass. The toilet door and the shower. Everything is see-through. Me and my wife is on a new level now. <laughs> <laughs> There's nowhere to hide there. Uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, and the, the children had the children had their own rooms, you know. So it's not with us. It it was such. A, it's a humbling experience. You're actually shocked by it. Just like you try to process it, and you think, I don't know what Rob can do that you can see more of it. Just to get them, it is not like anything you've seen before and experienced. But but I think the most exciting thing is you did it with like-minded friends like us and yourself, and those watching. You know, there's nothing, I get goosebumps when I say it, there's nothing as powerful if you can do this with people that think in the same direction than you. Because I don't know about you, I've been wasting a lot of time with naysayers and people that want to cheat you and dump you and not pay you. And, and this company is serious about food and they're serious about money. You know, <laughs> that <they're good. laughs> so that you will not stop. I just can't think of anything else. It, it, it was just amazing, amazing. I, the, uh, I think the children, the, the, the photos they took on their phones, I checked it today. It's such a beautiful place. That sea is the beautiful blue that you can ever imagine. It's so clean. And ladies, there's no waves. You can just walk into the ocean up to your neck. There's just no waves. But yes, everything is warm. The sea is warm. The pool is warm. It rained one night and the rain was warm. It's tropical. <laughs> <laughs> it is extreme. Yeah. Yeah. And like Rina said, there was a spa treatment. I've never went to a place where people massage me or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so me and my wife went there and unfortunately I fell asleep so I can't remember much of it. <laughs> but my wife said it was good, you know. But <laughs> But it's funny seeing the Dupo Nights with the little white robes and we're looking like some aliens. But, you know, guys, we try things. I think we, we're trying to, to, to do something in, our, in the life that is left in us. You know, we've tried so many things and we've been disappointed so much. And, yes, it's embarrassing speaking to people sometimes and they say no to you. But, you know, what's more embarrassing? Not being able to go on holiday. Not being able to pay your school fees for this year. That's embarrassing. You know, um, this. You know, I look at us la uh, laughing our heads off. The rest of South Africa is looking at us. Some people think our dew point is we're nuts. We're not nuts. We're just dreamers. Huh? We still have life in our left. There's still opportunities left in our heart. We can't wait for governments or to give us our freedom. We'll get it ourselves. We'll, we'll, we'll go. And, <laughs> <coughs> and that, this is from me, Rob. I'm making a presentation too long, so I'm going to hand it over to you. But thanks, guys. Thanks to our creator, every single person that paid his installment and is still dreaming with us today. If you're battling, brother, just hang in there. Ask for help. Do the training. Watch the training and, and just stuck at it. You'll make it. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thanks, Danny. Yeah, the photos only go a certain, only so far in telling the story. You really have to experience yourselves. You've got 11 months to get there, right? Spamandli did it in five months. So you know you can get there within 11 months. As I said, it's a decision we need to make every single day.
and it doesn't end here. This is the beginning for our Rank 9 Wealth Engineers. Right? This is 24 months in. We've designed this program up to Rank 28. At Rank 11, we spend a quarter of a million rand buying a brand new car for our Wealth Engineers. No debit order at the end of the month for you. Someone came to me uh, after the lunchtime presentation and said, are there any hidden costs in rank 11 when we get that car? <laughs> there are no hidden costs. You pay for insurance and fuel and that's it. Right? So this is our rewards program. This is what it looks like. This is the fun that we have along the way while we create recurring income in the returns program for ourselves. Like I said, we saw the table go up to rank 20. It's designed up to rank 28. We've mapped out what we think is the next 25 to 30 years for our wealth engineers. Dew point, we don't think short term. And we want you to think long term with us, right? Early decision making. We have another benefit for our wealth engineers. It's called the Wealth Quest. It is a challenge that we issue to our wealth engineers uh, every month. So it runs from the first of the month to the last of the month. January's Wealth Quest is called Hit 2018 Sprinting. We challenge you to bring 20 people into your first point successfully in the month of January. And if you can do that, not only will you have increased your returns and be closer to getting to rank nine, but we'll give you an extra 10,000 Rand at the end of January. Right? Some incentive to get going in the new year. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we are often asked the question, well, how does Dewpoint, what is the business, how does the business model work? How are you able to afford the, the returns, the rewards? Basically, traditional insurance companies, like the one we have down the road, primary and direct, spend a lot of money on advertising, right? A large portion of budget goes towards client acquisition in the form of marketing and advertising, and that comes in a plethora of different channels. At Dewpoint, we don't do any advertising. You won't see a Dewpoint logo outside of this building because we depend on our wealth engineers, right? The people like our rank nines to go speak, like Donnie, to speak to 300 people in the last year to go tell people about the business opportunity. And so we don't have to spend the billions that the insurance industry spends on client acquisition through advertising. We can attribute that portion of the payment to our wealth engineers in the form of returns and rewards. And that's basically how our business model works. Right? Purely on the basis of you going out, telling people about the business opportunity, and we, in turn, through our online platform, will offer products to those people that you introduce to us. We have three products. Um, they are all financial in nature. They speak to the problems we have from a financial perspective, right? The benefits. So product number one is called the Access Wealth Plan. It is our investment product. It's 299 Rand a month. It's actually broken down into two further products. Uh, I know this can get a little confusing, but it's the Access Wealth Plan. It's got two products that make up the Access Wealth Plan, starting with a tax-free investment account uh, that uh, is housed at Sunlum. 100 Rand gets invested in your name into that tax-free investment every single month. It is a notice-free investment. It means you can draw that investment out at any stage. Um, and then on top of the second product is some personal accident cover that you get with this investment to the extent of 110,000 Rand. So if you have this product, you are killed in an accident of some sort. We pay out your beneficiaries 110,000 Rand plus whatever's in that investment. And the investment has done really well. I think the last 10 months has performed at uh, 9%, over 9% in 10 months already. So it's great product, Access Wealth Plans, product number one. The second product is Wealth Guard. So this is strictly insurance. It's 274 Rand a month, uh, but this time you get 1.1 million Rands worth of cover, personal accident cover. So the beauty of our personal accident cover products, because it's not life insurance, not comprehensive life insurance, not funeral cover, the beauty of these products is that we can offer this insurance to anyone over the age of 18. You can be 80 years old, you can be diabetic, you can have cancer. It doesn't rely on a risk profile, this product, right? So we can offer the product to anybody. Um, so just make sure you're aware of that. Then product number three is Wealth Points. Uh, the Wealth Points Buyers Club is 274 Rand a month. And what this product aims to do is save us money on the money that we spend every month anyway. So look at the list of suppliers that we have there. I bet you spend money at at least one of those suppliers. What we've done for 274 Rand a month is afforded you to get discounts, further discounts from these suppliers. Right? So if you're looking for immediate benefit, this is a great product to have. Um, the discounts are different with every single supplier that we have. Um, but you can go take a look at our website. There's more details on it there. And we are always adding new partners to this product. So those are three products. They've been built to be straightforward. If you're looking for information, look at our website. And we've got in-depth reviews on our YouTube channel on each of the products. Uh, but you're welcome to come speak to me afterwards. Ask me questions. I'll answer any of those for you. What is the decision we need to make? I'm hoping you will make an early decision, a decision where you are realistic about what's required in this business and that you have a vision for yourself. 
right? That you have hope in your heart, that you can change your circumstance because you do have it in you. The first decision is belief. And I'm hoping that you will come to terms with this sacrifice that you need to make in terms of time in a business that is very straightforward. With all the support and collaboration around you. And then to have fun along the way. As your life transforms. As you start creating a greater and greater recurring income every single month. And you get to enjoy the rewards along the way. And you get to empower yourself financially. Liberate yourself. Right? We can't tell our bosses what we think of them. I'm too scared to tell Brendan what I really think of him. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still dependent on my salary, right? As are all of us. But some, at some time, when you are liberated enough, you're free to choose what you want to do with your lives. And that's really the decision we're making today. Uh, joining is very straightforward. Uh, please read our code of conduct. It's our contract with you that defines what you can and cannot do as a wealth engineer. Uh, register as a wealth engineer. That happens online or on the mobile app that the person that brought you here will have. Um, and then apply yourself to this business. Right? We call it a channel, but it is a business. Treat it like a business. It is not a hobby. It's not a New Year's resolution. It is a business that will empower you and change your life. So, look at our online training. There are seven videos that make up our basic series. It's hardly onerous to get through. Right? Set goals for yourself. That comes, that's in line with the belief and the vision that you have for your life. What are your goals? They need to be tangible in your mind, your goals. Goals aren't, I want to be financially free. A goal is, for me, I want a 911 GT3 white gold rims, red leather inside with a roll cage. That's what I want, and I want it by 2020. Right? That's a goal. Write it down. Keep yourself accountable to your goals. And then strategize. Prepare a plan to get there. And we assist you in preparing that plan in line with what Dewpoint can offer you. And then the simple thing of going out and talking to people. Like I said, we made this business simple. One of our uh, wealth engineers that was uh, featured in November, Don Landon, he said the business is so simple. You don't need a degree. There's such a shallow learning curve. The products are simple. But if you're not talking to someone every day, you're not doing the business. Right? That's the trick. Speak to somebody every single day. We've got merchandise. It's not a profit center for us. These are tools that we thought would assist you in building your channels more effectively. Please consider getting business cards. This is foremost for me. I cannot imagine anyone coming to me proposing a business opportunity and then, I don't know, writing their name and number on a scrap piece of paper and tearing it off and giving it to me. Right? This business is about credibility. I tell my wealth engineers all the time, you have to behave professionally, always. Dress professionally. Treat the people that you're prospecting professionally. Have business cards. It's part of that picture. Uh, we've got the USB sticks. Our videos are on there, so if you're data shy, you can get the USB sticks. We've got a plethora of other different merchandise all on display in the cabinet. Those pins represent people that are earning money at Dewpoint. The moment you become rank one, you can buy one of those pins. It shows people that you know how to earn money at Dewpoint. It's notable because if you can get to rank one, you can get to rank 11. You can get to rank 20. You can get to rank 28. The rank nines that you saw on the stage are doing exactly the same thing as the rank ones are day to day. Do you realize that? Nothing changes. So if you can prove to yourself that you can get to rank one, you know you can get to rank nine. It's just about accountability and activity. Please download uh, or please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, I think we've got about 5,000 people to subscribe to. It'll tell you every time there's a new video, every time uh, we have a live stream that goes out to uh, the country. Download the mobile app. It is your primary business tool, the mobile app. You need a smartphone in this business. You need data. Uh, once you download the mobile app, update your profile photo. You get 1,000 XP immediately, and it helps us identify the wealth engineers, right? Because we've got about 60,000 wealth engineers. It gets a bit complicated. So we like to look at photos. So no dark glasses with the duck lips. <laughs> I know the young people taking selfies nowadays, okay? Um, so do that. Uh, just a couple of things I want to highlight in our code of conduct, because with so many wealth engineers now, it's become a bit laborious to try manage everybody. Um, it, you cannot become a wealth engineer if you don't have the resources to empower yourself to be effective in this business, unfortunately. We are not a charity business. The business is not designed and aimed at uh, the unemployed, unfortunately, as much as we'd want to help them. But we are. Our dream is to shine a light in the economy of South Africa. And so we 
target the business as, at people that have the resources to empower themselves to do this business. And so if you cannot afford the product, if you don't have access to data, if you struggle with access with transport, you are going to struggle in this business. And it's probably not ideal for you. Bear this in mind when you go speak to people and prospect people. Don't be desperate and go find people in the street that are desperate, right? You need people that have got the resources to thrive in a business like this. Don't ever complete a due point application form on behalf of somebody else. This again is kind of a problem that's related to the problem above. Is people going to other people, they don't have email addresses, they've never used the internet, they don't have smartphones, they're writing their details down on a piece of paper and saying, I will fill out your application later tonight. That is against the law, it is fraudulent. When you fill out an application, you have to do it yourself because it is a contract that you're entering into with Dewpoint. You can assist the person, but you cannot do it on their behalf. Don't add direct family members that are in your household into your channel. We call it an anti-stacking rule. Unfortunately, there's too much manipulation that happens in that instance. So if you have family members that are in your household, that's the key word, in your household, they cannot be in your channel. If you've got family that have moved out and they've got their own cost of living expenses, they can be in your channel. But if you're sharing cost of living expenses, you cannot be in the same channel. Don't start your own Dewpoint Facebook page. This is our biggest bugbear. Again, it's actually transgresses regulation with regards to the Financial Services Board. You cannot go out and advertise Dewpoint, its products, or its subsidiaries, or third parties. We have a company contracted to go search all the, all the social media platforms for people that mention Dewpoint. And then we suspend you immediately without letting you know. You will find out when you try add somebody, it says, sorry, you suspended. Then it's very embarrassing. Then you have to find client service. You've got to prove to us that you've removed the post from social media, and then we reinstate you. So just don't do it to begin with. It doesn't work anyway. This is very much a personal business. It's about relationship, right, with the people that you're prospecting. Don't send lead wealth engineers to Dewpoint or any prospects to Dewpoint unattended. It speaks to the responsibility that you have around the prospects that you are speaking to, right? Treat them with respect. Don't send them unattended. Uh, we get people coming in saying, oh, I met someone on Facebook. They said, Rob or Brendan will take care of me. Guess what? That person is not going to sign up under you, right? They're going to sign up under me. I get extra bonus. <laughs> I'm joking, right? So just don't do that. Treat everyone with respect. Treat people, your prospects, professionally. A uh, little reminder, at uh, the beginning of February, 10th of February, we've got our inaugural Converge uh, 2018 awards evening. It's our first awards evening. It's by invitation only and only to rank fours and up. So this should serve as motivation to get to rank four before the end of this month. So if you're close, if you rank one, if you rank two, if you rank three, get to rank four. Make sure you come to the special evening. Um, and guys, on that note, I want to remind you, there's only one person that can design their futures. One person, not your spouse, not the person you work for, not family, not even the people that love you. One person. It's the person that makes a decision every morning. I want you to design the future that you want. I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to take a step of faith with this business. Because that's what's required, right? There's faith required to go with this business that you've been exposed to all of a sudden. But we had to help. We had to collaborate with you. And we look forward to as many of this audience at rank nine in 11 months' time. Can you do it? Only you can tell yourself that. So good luck and have a wonderful year. Thank you.